All right, man, real quick. Deshaun Watson just had a change of heart. It was said that it was down to the uh, Cleveland – I'm assuming you said it was down to the Atlanta Falcons and to the uh, New Orleans Saints, and now he's had a change of heart. He's headed to the Cleveland Browns, which for them makes a lot of sense now because Baker Mayfield said he wanted to leave. Um so, yeah, he's headed to Cleveland. Uh, here we go right here. So he told Houston he would only waive his uh, no-trade clause uh, to go to the Cleveland Browns. So he says now up to the Texas and Browns to finalize the trade agreement for Deshaun Watson, okay? Um, it says Deshaun Watson has decided he wants to play for the Cleveland Browns in a stunning change of events. Per sources, Watson's informed Houston, Texas, that he is not willing to waive his no-trade clause and his contract to be dealt with Cleveland, right? It just makes too much sense. Now it's being said that uh, the Browns are giving Deshaun Watson a deal per source is $184 million over the first four years of his contract. is a $488 million raise over the 136 he was scheduled to make over the same four year uh, on the previous contract, a $12 million per year raise in that span. And you're wondering, like, like he, why can he pick where he goes like he's a, a – a free agent he has a no trade clause so no trade clause he determines his trip destination he can waive it when you want to waive it so um to me going to atlanta real quick didn't make no sense they just wasn't ready uh, as is and the deal was rumored that aj terrell was going to be part of that deal um and he like one of the best young studs bro so um being copper really suspended for a year had really been healthy um, and then you giving up your you giving up all those picks. It was going to be hard for Atlanta to put a team around them. Now Atlanta was the team where they had Julio and all them dudes. You know, uh, all them dudes years ago. Then it, it will make uh, it will make a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? New Orleans made a lot of sense. They cut up their cap space. But one of the reasons it did make a lot of sense is because Sean Payton, the offensive mastermind, left. Had Sean Payton been there. They probably would have got Deshaun Watson and probably been one of the better teams in the league. And they've done a great job of just getting a whole bunch of depth and talent. You know, they've done an amazing job. Um, so obviously they didn't have the best offensive weapons neither, but Mike Thomas, I, I perceive, will be a would be a hundred percent this season and had a couple young studs. Alvin Kamar, he's gonna get suspended, but he'll be right back. So um that made that made a ton. That made a ton of sense too, and that was a good situation. But going to Cleveland, um, they probably gonna bring back Clowney, a few other guys. Their defense already is they already studs. They added a pass rusher, Trey Vinovich, traded former Alabama pick inside linebacker Mac uh, Wilson over to uh, New England for Chase Winovich. They got some really young, good defensive players. They acquired Amari Cooper. They kind of got rid of Jarvis Landry. That would have been a great pick. But you still got David and uh, Joko. You got a couple uh, tight ends over there. The big white guy Brian, I think his name is. They got Austin Hooper over there. You got Nick Chubbs. You got Kareem Hunt. So they think it's just going to be finding a receiver. And when you look out there, you still got Juju Smith-Schuster. You still got Will uh, Fuller, who used to play with in Houston. Be, don't be surprised if they can find a way to fit Will Fuller in the cap. Will Fuller probably come there and give him a one-two punch with Amari Cooper. They bask and catch it out the backfield, especially Kareem Hunt. They got a preference of tight ends, and they're probably going to add um, some more tight end, uh, some more receiver help pretty soon. So. Yep, he going off there, brand new deal. Now we got to see for the most part. Uh, now we got to see for the most part uh, what exactly going to happen. But yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit on notifications, Christian notifications. We'll make a financial donation. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313. Now it's up for Cleveland and Houston just agreed to a deal. And once they do, and things can change. But Saying we heading to Cleveland and change of heart and Baker Mayfield may be involved in that deal, may not. Maybe they may be able to get some of that capital back for Baker Mayfield because, you know, he wanted to be gone. But uh, old boy there, Davis Mills, he was the second best rookie quarterback last year. So I don't know why. I guess the Baker being in competition if they take Baker back. Houston want to make a financial donation. Cash out, Dallas, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal, and Patricia. Hit the link tree link description for all. Where I'm at on social media, Spotify, Anchor, Twitter, and on Code 9. Check out the NFL playlist, more videos like this. Appreciate the love, support, love, and comments.